Colonel Marcus Riesner, head of the Office Training Institute at the Theresian Military Academy in Austria and military expert, told Ukraine Forum that the Russian military's current operational goal is to stretch the active front line, constrain the Ukrainian forces and force them to deploy valuable reserves to the Kharkiv region while attempting to advance in Donbass. At the tactical level, we see that the Russians are trying to tie up the Ukrainians across the entire front wherever possible. It means keeping deployed forces in direct contact so that they are not mobile and available. At operational level, the goal of the Russians is to stretch the Ukrainians in the use of their forces, said Reasoner. According to the colonel, the Russian tactic became particularly noticeable after Moscow troops opened a new front in Kharkiv Oblast. The Austrian military expert believes that the purpose of the Russian actions was not to advance to Kharkiv itself, but to force Ukraine to redeploy valuable reserves and forces to this area. At the strategic level, the goal is to exhaust Ukraine with airstrikes on critical infrastructure. In fact, we are dealing with a war of attrition, he noted. Overall, he divides Russian full-scale invasion into seven phases. The first phase was the success of the Ukrainian defense lasting from February to March 2022. In March, it also became clear that the Russian Blitzkrieg had failed when the Russians began to retreat from Kyiv to Donbass. The second phase was the beginning of the war of attrition from April to August 2022. The third phase was the Ukrainian offensive operations near Kharkiv and Kherson in September to October 2022. The fourth phase was the Russian consolidation during the winter from November 2022 to April 2023 with an attempt of intensification through strategic airstrikes. The fifth phase was the unsuccessful summer offensive of the Ukrainian troops lasting from May to October 2023. The next stage was the transition to the sixth phase when Russia tried to regain momentum from November 2023 to February 2024, the second Russian winter offensive, the expert recounted. According to him, the seventh phase has been ongoing since March this year, the Russian summer offensive, which involves the strategy of stretching the Ukrainian forces. It began with the Russian offensive in the north of Kharkiv Oblast on the 10th of May. According to the Austrian colonel, the decisive factor for this seventh phase is resources. It is a war of attrition, and it must be understood. Even if it seems that little is happening on the front, the course of the war continues and is determined by resource expenditure, he said. Russia is sympathetic to neither of the US presidential candidates looking upon the presidential campaign in the United States as a fight of a spider in a jar, Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev told TASS. We never interfere into domestic affairs of other countries. We only defend our country and our citizens. From this point of view, it is of little interest for us who and how wins the election in America and how they are going to build their election campaign and organize voting, who eats who. He said when asked whether Donald Trump's presidency will be beneficial for Russia. As a matter of fact, now, this is nothing but a fight of spiders in a jar, he said. We feel sympathy with neither of the candidates, but we will have to somehow maintain contact with any representative of that country's legitimate authorities. On July the 21st, Joe Biden said that he will not run for the next term as the US president, supporting at the same time the nomination of Vice President Kamala Harris from the Democratic Party. Joe Biden can do anything as dictated by his entourage because his success Successor will nevertheless deal with the problems, Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev said, answering the question from TASS. The president that is fearable and does not influence anything will hold the office while the replacement is being picked. Probably this is more convenient. He became the lame duck in the full sense of this word. However, his hands are fully freed for these six months. His time is running low. He can do anything. When dictated by his entourage, his successor will in any case suffer blowback, the Russian politician said. We regrettably have become a half step more closer to a global catastrophe, with the reason being full recklessness of the West 
its absolute indifference in respect of the fate of the humanity. I hope very much the world will not finally collapse during these six months, Medvedev added. No one among US presidents before Biden was so deriding in eyes of nationals, of his country and the whole world. This proves once again that the figure of a formal US leader is currently just a decoration, nothing more than a shield, the official stressed. The so-called deep state and not the elected president runs all the processes in the US now, Medvedev noted. A straw man or an Egyptian mummy can be put in the Oval Office. Nothing will change in the scheme of things, he added. The course of the history will give further assessment to actions of the US president. I will not guess anything in advance. Medvedev noted in response to the request for a comment on words of ex-US President Donald Trump that Joe Biden is the worst president in the US history. The behavior of US authorities is unpredictable and this makes them a threat to the world, considering the possibility of using nuclear arms, the official stressed.